the most important things you need to find out is if you guys are money compatible. When I talk about money compatible, it refers to your, your financial habits generally. Are you money compatible? So this is one very important thing that you need to actually evaluate before you get into something really serious. And by really serious, I mean marriage. So hey there, welcome again to MJ's Fair. I'm MJ and this is a platform where we talk everything about growth regarding your relationship, your finances. We do talk about faith and lifestyle. On today's episode or on today's video, as you should have seen already from the title, we are talking about love and money. Of course, we all know that from your first date or when the relationship is just getting started, that's not the best time to talk about money because it might scare some people away. And that might cut off as you being too serious, okay, super serious, which does not impress so many people. So when the relationship is getting serious, when you see that you both are heading somewhere, then these questions must pop up. So let's look at four of these questions that you should ask. Money question number one, which you should ask when your relationship is getting serious is your partner's opinion about debt. Like, what does he or she feel about debt? Does he like getting into debt? And is he in any kind of debt? If he's in any kind of debt, then what is his plan to pay that debt? And how long does he think he's going to actually work on this plan to pay that debt? If he's someone who envisages paying the debt in like one year, he, he has come up with an already drawn and established plan to work and pay the debt, then that's a good one. Or is he someone who's comfortable always taking debts and stuff like that? So this is one thing you must establish because if your money values do not match or if you're financially not compatible, this is one reason that might lead to divorce. And you might be wondering why the divorce rate in the world is so high. <laughs> that is money question number one. Let's move over to question number two. What are your spending habits like what is his spending habits what is her spending habits how does she spend is she someone who's extravagant on spending is she someone who's really 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 hard tight fisted on spending <laughs> see believe it or not there are people who are extremists and I, I i want to believe that everybody knows just exactly where they fall are you someone who's just average on spending like you only spend where you see the need or your when it comes to spending we need to know all of this to strike a balance because now from already knowing your opinions about debt and who is big on spending like your spending habits you both should already know <laughs> who should manage the finances you should already know exactly by now who's the hard worker who works harder and who's better at managing finances also at this point i feel like this is the time where you also get to talk about Okay, if we get married tomorrow or when we get married tomorrow, who's going to stay home? Because when babies come in, <laughs> the responsibilities double. And in most cases, the women get to stay home, not because it's by choice, but because they're obliged to. There are men who are like, okay, you, you, you have to stay home till the baby's like two, three, because I don't want my baby to go to a daycare or a crash where when the baby is just one year old and the baby will be falling sick, you don't know who's taking care of the baby. So these are things you need to talk about. And when you're in making such decisions, of course, you should know exactly how much will be coming in if just one of you is working. So these are financial talks or money questions you, you should get to talk about once the relationship is getting serious. When you see that you guys are walking down that path of no return, like holy matrimony. <laughs> we move over to the next point. Only question number three asking your partner how he or she prepares for emergency now mind you have it at the back of your mind that at this point you're just dating yeah like you're getting serious you're seriously dating but then you're still financially independent from your partner like your partner can only support you but you still manage your finances so you want to find out how does he or she manage emergencies does he have an emergency fund so do you actually save money for emergencies or do you feel like, oh, whenever an emergency pops up, you can just run to your friend to borrow you some money, to lend you some money, or you can just call your girlfriend like, hey, babe, do you, do you have some money? Please, can you assist me with this? Does he have an emergency plan? Because trust me, emergencies always come up. And when someone fails to set aside money for emergency, no matter how little, because even if it is just the least, at least when an emergency comes up, you can be like, Hey, babe, do you have some money with you? This emergency just popped up, but this is how much I had saved for emergency. And if you had been saving something like, if you had like an emergency fund where you put, even if it's just 1% or 3% of whatever, at least it should have accumulated a little. 
So what is your emergency plan? What do you have for emergencies? This gives you a broad knowledge of how this person plans his or her salary because trust me, you need to understand if this person is good at budgeting or saving and things like that. Money question number four is very, very important, but I feel like many people don't get to talk about this. I don't know if it's that it's on the mind or so, but point number four is what are your retirement plans? Now, you both might have different plans like... <laughs> She might plan retiring at 40 while he might plan retiring at 60. And your idea of retirement might be, okay, owning a house by the co in, in the countryside and just living life like an average person. Whereas she might be feeling, okay, my retirement plan is, okay, build a very good house in the city where I get to live life large, enjoying everything I have actually worked for. So retirement plan is is one thing that you both must talk about because when you both agree you should already know like this is when we aim at retiring this is when we want to retire and you work towards that because and this is how hard we need to work this is the saving plan we need to come up with to ensure that we actually achieve our retirement plans maybe by then you want to own estates and things like that so it's really really important but it's always forgotten in the talk like it's always forgotten please this is one thing we should not forget it is very very necessary and one extra point i feel like i should add here is finding out or getting to know if your partner has anybody he or she is assisting yes assisting like is he sponsoring anybody to school is there any family relative that is his responsibility probably he has the responsibility of sending her some pocket allowance monthly or he's the one paying her bills her school fee or is he the one taking care of his parents solely this is one thing we should know and talk about as well because your partner might just be calculating oh this is how much he earns at the end of the month and she makes her plans based on that exact amount and then at the end of the month you'll be like oh no don't don't <laughs> don't put all of that money in the budget because like 15 percent goes to my mom or 15 percent goes to this person that i'm taking care of so this is one thing you should talk about and ask if he has any financial responsibilities somewhere if he's committed somewhere financially or if he's in debt where he needs to send a particular amount somewhere financially so all these points are points that are really going to help you guys to understand each other better and see if you're financially compatible if your values are the same what exactly is he going for and what are you going for so these are money questions which i came up with this Trust me, if you both are not financially compatible and get married, you will just go a long way to increase the divorce rate in the world now. Now, there's one thing I forgot to... <laughs> there's one thing I forgot to add, okay? Ladies, please, if you're the one initiating... I don't know whoever's going to initiate. If you're the one initiating this talk, please find out the best time to bring this up. Let me tell you one secret, okay? Men are usually not always comfortable when ladies get to ask them about financial commitments or money questions okay so when you want to get into these money questions make sure he's in a good mood he's in a relaxed atmosphere and everything is fine that way you have a smooth conversation otherwise it is just gonna end up in a big fight okay so make sure to <clears throat> make the atmosphere conducive enough and make sure he's in a happy and good mood then you have the answers to every single question you ask so I hope this video has been educative enough for you. If you loved it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And have a